How many large vehicles would you need to transport everything you have to your new home? I'm sure it would take more than just a couple of trips with giant trucks. Now, imagine NASA's case. They even want to take humans to the moon and establish settlements there. Clearly, they won't be able to buy anything new if we don't bring it up from Earth. We might be accustomed to the space flights of the Orion capsule or the Crew Dragon Cargo Dragon, but NASA and SpaceX want to develop a new larger variant. That is the Dragon XL. Stay tuned as we dive into this and more in today's episode of Alpha Tech. Recently, SpaceX once again achieved a noteworthy feat in human spaceflight. The Dragon spacecraft successfully docked with the ISS, marking a significant milestone in space exploration. This mission is NASA's seventh crewed flight of the Dragon spacecraft to the station and the first flight to feature crew members from four different space agencies. This accomplishment marks the latest in a series of missions conducted by the Dragon 2 spacecraft, which has become a workhorse for crewed launches in recent years. However, the evolution of the Dragon spacecraft will not be confined to low Earth orbit. It has the potential to journey even farther with the distinct lunar variant. The emergence of this variant is the result of a collaborative contract between NASA and SpaceX with the mission of delivering cargo to NASA's Lunar Space Station. As part of the Artemis program, NASA has proposed building a space station in orbit around the moon called the Gateway, where astronauts can work and train before heading down to the lunar soil. The Lunar Gateway will be one of the most ambitious space stations ever conceived. The first two modules are set to launch from 2024 to 2025, with the first crewed mission, Artemis IV, anticipated in 2027. When the initial astronauts touch down at the Lunar Gateway, it must be prepared to support an extended mission, typically spanning several weeks. And just like the International Space Station, the Gateway is going to need supplies and science experiments from time to time. And now, SpaceX is the first company charged with making that happen. SpaceX has been resupplying cargo to the ISS for over a decade now, packing supplies inside the company's Dragon capsule and launching them on top of a Falcon 9 rocket. To get supplies to the future gateway, SpaceX is going to use some upgraded vehicles. The latest announcement emerged in 2023, offering us the most recent update on Dragon XL. Speaking on a panel, NASA's Mark Wees, manager of Deep Space Logistics for the Gateway program, said the agency had waited to start work on the first logistics mission as it focused on the other aspects of Gateway. If you look at the overall Artemis architecture, logistics is the shortest pole in the tent from a development standpoint, he explained. The contract has a four-year lead time for the first mission, but he suggested SpaceX might be ready faster than that. We purposely delayed that, turning it on to make sure we're not spending money and throwing resources where it doesn't need to be thrown, he said while working on other aspects of Artemis. The first Artemis mission to use Gateway will be Artemis IV, currently scheduled for 2027. That means that NASA is preparing to give the go-ahead for that first logistics mission needed to support the Artemis IV this year. We're looking forward to ATPing that mission this year to enable that 2027 first crewed mission. We said later that NASA's been working with SpaceX on a series of studies to refine the Dragon XL design and examine cargo configurations and other capabilities that could be enabled by the spacecraft. He confirmed that SpaceX will use Dragon XL for those initial missions, but left the door open for using the company's Starship vehicle for cargo delivery in the future. In 2021, NASA announced a decision to award that initial HLS moon landing demonstration contract to SpaceX and SpaceX alone. At this point, more or less simultaneously, NASA made it clear that it was seriously studying the possibility of performing Artemis III, the first crewed moon landing attempt in half a century, without Gateway. Along those lines, the SLS launch to Orion spacecraft and HLS lander would dock directly in lunar orbit instead of separately docking to Gateway to transfer crew. Frankly speaking, Dragon XL is an intriguing and distinct technical platform. It would be truly regrettable if we couldn't get a chance to witness it. According to SpaceX's announcement in 2020, their Dragon XL spacecraft is a cylindrical white spacecraft that can carry more than 5 metric tons of cargo to Gateway in lunar orbit. The supersized Dragon will launch on top of SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket, the much more powerful variant of the Falcon 9 that consists of three rocket cores strapped together. 
Diverging from the familiar spacecraft architecture, Dragon XL boasts a distinctive cylindrical shape, a departure from the traditional aerodynamic structure seen in its predecessors. Dragon XL hasn't been initially mandated for the return of cargo from the Lunar Gateway to Earth, hence it lacks a re-entry heat shield. Instead, it features solar arrays that can be deployed to ensure a consistent power supply. After the initial Dragon XL mission, the vehicle will be discarded akin to other cargo-carrying vehicles within low Earth orbit on the ISS. The SpaceX Dragon XL can exceed a diameter of 4.6 meters, fitting within the standard 5-meter Falcon heat shield, and will employ NASA's automated docking system to connect with the gateway. Communication systems, propulsion engines, and guidance will be upgraded from the standard Cargo Dragon 2.0 LEO configuration. SpaceX will be able to utilize its 9-meter-tall dual parabolic tracking antennas on the Stargate Technology Park in Boca Chica to support the mission. Thanks to a fixed-price contract, SpaceX is on the hook to send multiple supply missions to the Gateway once the station's up and running. During each trip, the Dragon XL will stay docked at the Gateway for 6 to 12 months at a time. The capsule will carry things like sample collection materials and other items the crew may need on the Gateway and during their expeditions on the lunar surface, according to NASA. However, whether the timeliness and punctuality of Dragon XL can meet NASA's objectives depends not only on SpaceX, but also on monitoring the progress of Gateway's development. One of the foremost obstacles arises from the relative lack of experience in lunar space operations. Unlike Earth-centric missions, Lunar endeavors demand a new set of considerations, from navigating the unique gravitational dynamics to grappling with the lunar surface's unfamiliar terrain. Further underlining the complexity of lunar operations, Northrop Grumman's struggles with Lunar Gateway module construction underscore the challenges inherent in crafting a permanent presence around the moon. In the company's second quarter financial results released July 27, the company announced an unfavorable estimate at completion adjustment of $36 million for its work on the Habitation and Logistics Outpost Halo module, one of the first elements of the Gateway. The company blamed the charge of evolving lunar gateway architecture and mission requirements combined with macroeconomic challenges that caused growth on the program. A decision previously made by NASA is to launch both the HALO and the Maxar Developed Power and Propulsion Element PPE system together, instead of launching them separately and conducting a docking maneuver in orbit. This approach aims to significantly mitigate economic risks. Overall, it was a good decision. It really burns down a lot of risks, said Rick Mastraccio, Director of Business Development at Northrop Grumman Space Systems of the decision to launch PPE and HALO together. However, it'll also bring about technical challenges, as placing two vehicles onto a single launch vehicle makes mass a foremost concern. Besides, another challenge, Mastraccio said, is the lack of experience operating around the moon. Building a permanent gateway in a cislunar space is a lot harder than it sounds, he said. We still have yet to understand the specifics of how to operate and design the cislunar space in the lunar surface. In general, if Gateway indeed faces numerous challenges and difficulties, then the potential of Dragon XL might be redundant. Instead, the HLS variant of Starship could emerge as the primary contender for establishing a sustained human presence on the moon. And that's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments section below. Your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.